This gal's got a massive 500 pound bod. In order to find a partner for herself, she decided to channel her inner Marilyn Monroe and work on her sultry moves. But the opposite sex in front of her actually committed suicide on the spot. Finally, a man showed interest in her. However, Julie's temper suddenly flared up. She wanted to find a firefighter to put out the fire. Firefighters just want to get rid of her. Despite all of this, Julie is extremely confident in herself. She told her father that one day her prince will come to marry him. Father was speechless. Somewhere out there is my true love. No. Back to work. Julie had to continue to go to work. She poured coffee for the customers. And at that moment when she lowered her head, she saw the blonde guy that she was looking for. Julie fell in love at first sight and wanted to capture his heart. To achieve this, she even sought the help of a love expert who had successfully matched many celebrities, such as Brad and Jenny, and Peter Pan and Zorro. No matter the gender, age, or race, he could successfully match them. However, after observing Julie, he realized that her biggest obstacle to finding love was her size. So he took her to a car modification shop, where she was put on a rack, and a beefy mechanic approached her with a cutting tool. The expert was so scared he covered his eyes. The cutting machine was actually used to cut Julie's size 42 feet. First, they use a cutting machine to shave down her toenails, that were thicker than a phone book. Then, they slather wax oil all over her fluffy back, like spreading Nutella on toast, before yanking off all the hair and skin. This was just the warm-up. Next, they drill holes into her body and vacuum out every ounce of fat, leaving her looking like a deflated balloon. After a few hours, voila, the 500-pound fat girl has transformed into a stunning 90-pound babe. With her newfound confidence, Julie entered a dating show, where her dreamy blonde man awaited. After a series of rounds, Julie emerged as the final contestant. The blonde man strolled up to her, holding a bouquet of flowers, and declared his love. Julie didn't hesitate for a second and blurted out, yes, yes, a million times yes. They were the perfect match, like peanut butter and jelly. So, the man decided to propose to Julie on the spot, dropping down on one knee like a sack of potatoes. Julie was over the moon and said yes before he could even finish his sentence. Yes, Grant Plunk, your daughter, I will marry you. Next up was meeting the parents. The boyfriend's father welcomed Julie with open arms, while the mother was practically doing cartwheels with excitement. But then, Julie spotted a sultry woman who clearly had a history with her man. This is Julia. After a quick chat, Julie found out that the woman was her boyfriend's ex-girlfriend. Afraid of her beauty sleep being disrupted, Julie quickly nailed down the wedding date with her boyfriend. However, on the big day, a massive zit decided to set up camp on Julie's face. She was trying to wrestle it off her face, but it refused to budge. It clung on for dear life, like a baby koala on its mother's back. She reached for the only tool she had left, a pair of giant pliers. On the other side, the man was eagerly waiting for her to come and get married. But when Julie was late, his ex-girlfriend started to pour gasoline on the fire. She's an hour late for our own wedding. Julia doesn't deserve you. Do you ever think about us? She even pulled the man close for an intimate moment. But Julie arrived just in time to see it all. She was so angry that she decided to call off the wedding. When the man tried to apologize with gifts, Julie remained firm in her decision. Her parents were eager for her to marry the waiter from their restaurant. And Julie was tired of all the drama. So, she agreed to marry the waiter. Will you marry me? And they quickly planned the wedding. As they listened to the priest's words, Julie suddenly remembered all the moments she shared with the man. Overwhelmed with emptiness and panic, she couldn't go through with the wedding and shouted an oh. At the last minute, Julie decided to forgive the man, and her dad eventually respected her choice. She showed Julie a magazine that said the man had been waiting for her on the roof for six months, and today was his last day of waiting. Julie quickly ran to the roof, but the elevator was taking forever, so she had to take the stairs. On the way, she encountered the annoying ex-girlfriend, so she gave her a little push down the stairs. Finally, Julie arrived at the roof, but the man was nowhere to be found. He had given up and gone down in the elevator. But then, out of nowhere, the woman fell from the sky and landed in the man's arms. 